Okay, y'all, hey, as you can tell by the title, we are in for some more organization motivation. Guys, I am so excited about this video because I am able to get a space that has become probably the most challenging space in my home to function in, and that is the kitchen. Although it is pretty to the eye, you guys, my struggle is with what lies beneath. Oftentimes, we know how to be those expert cover up or cover girls and guys, and we can finesse some things and make it look like everything is in tip top shape. But my goal this year is to live a truly luxe lifestyle. And for me, that means organization, that means free of clutter, free of debris, free of anything that will cause me unnecessary stress and strain. And so I am going full throttle this month with all things organization. If you've been following me, you've been seeing my Winter Bliss series, and most of that has been not only decorating for the aesthetic side of it, but it's also organizing for the functional side of it. Because for me, beauty has to be function all year long. That's the energy that I'm on. So I'm excited to bring you guys some fabulous organization tools. But what's more exciting, you guys, is that I partner with my wonderful friends over at Cricut, and they're gonna help me level up my kitchen organization. So, if you're ready for the organization, the customization, the inspiration, the motivation, and all the creativity that Royalty Design brings, sit back, relax, and keep on watching. Guys, today's video is being sponsored by Cricut. Cricut sent me over this amazing cutting bundle featuring their newest, most powerful machine to date, the Cricut Maker 3, guys. It is a very, very easy yet powerful cutting tool. And I'm so excited to have it in my crafting arsenal. Guys, I have the Cricut Maker and the way that this differs from that is that it's going to cut two times faster. It's 10 times more powerful. It's going to cut up to 300 more material, giving me more creative capabilities along with my bundle guys i got the right pad go along with the vinyl loader i am so excited so thrilled to create some beautiful pieces for my home and perhaps a few others so without any further ado you guys let the creativity begin First things first, let's set up the machine. You guys, you simply go into your Cricut Design Space, connect and set up your machine. You can do it on your desktop, laptop, iPad, or even your phone. From there, I go into the Design Space, you guys, and I wanna create something of my own. There are thousands of options, as you see, for you to choose from with design. And you simply put in a theme, a word, an image, whatever you want to create. Cricut Design Space has something to accommodate your personal taste. And so for me, it is all about kitchen organization and I wanted to do things that would commemorate or tie in with that space or that theme. So here I am just browsing the design space, picking out images that would fit my idea for my organization project. Once I select a design that I think fits my theme, I then begin to size it up. You want to pre-measure the area that you want to attach the vinyl piece to. Make sure you're getting it sized to fit, and then you begin designing. Here I'm just finding this cute little kitchen ideas that will tie in with the look. It's all about organization because aesthetics and function has to come hand in hand. Once you select what you want, you simply load in your paper, your vinyl, and you begin cutting. Once you see the button flash, that means it is ready to go. And what I love about the Cricut Maker 3, guys, is that it cuts at record speed. It is so easy, so simple. So if you are a beginner, do not hesitate to try the Cricut Maker 3. Once I get the images cut out, I am now going over to what is probably my favorite new piece, and that is the Bright Pad Go. If your eyes are anything like mine and they're a little seasoned, this is perfect for helping you to see all of those intricate cuts that you need to create with your vinyl. So here I'm just going in and pressing it in, taking my little weeder. I want to go ahead and cut it down to size just to save on vinyl. You do have a Cricut cutter that comes with it, but I have the scissors on hand, so I'm going to go ahead and use those just to cut this piece down to size to make it a little bit more convenient and controllable for the weeding process. Don't rush. Take your time. Make sure that you're weeding out everything properly. The 
right pad go you guys has five different light settings and it is cordless i absolutely love that it comes with the cord as well as the charger port for you to recharge your pad as needed but i absolutely love this guys i opened it straight out of the box and it was ready to go And the beauty of this, guys, is that you can be as creative as you want to be. If you can think it, you can create it with the Cricut machines. Here I am just creating a cute little inspirational quote for my coffee or beverage bar. So that we go in in the morning to prepare something to go either to relax or to just go out to start our day. We have this little bit of inspiration to take us along the way. My quote of choice is faith over fear i will be changing this out periodically so i just wanted to create something simple and easy that i can do that and cricket gives me that flexibility to do so i have this glittered champagne cardstock and i think it'll be the beautiful backdrop for this quote So I have this really pretty mirrored frame that I purchased from Ross or Home Goods or somewhere. I've had it for a while, but I knew that I wanted to use it at my beverage bar because it's all about the glam. And so here I'm going to go ahead and place the same inside. I actually layered it on the frame itself and then I flip it over and a beautiful quote is created. The wording is a little off, but I'll fix that. Now let's move on to the next project. Guys, my final project for this organization Setup is going to be labels, guys. There's nothing more aesthetically pleasing to me than having everything nice and labeled and giving everything a designated space. It's just a clean look and it helps you to level up your spaces in your home. So here I am just selecting all of the spices that I need labels for. I'm choosing this font, but initially I liked it, but you'll see that I clean it up. So without any further ado, guys, let the organization begin. So here I am just going to start with the drawers. And as you can see, this drawer is just full of an eclectic mess. And I've tried my hands at organizing, but as with anything, it just, it doesn't work anymore. The way our homes function, we went from a two family home to now four. And so with many people in and out of the drawers, I just needed to get everything organized. So I'm taking everything out. And this is a good point, you guys, to purge, to set donate piles giveaway piles trash piles and clear your space of any unwanted clutter i cannot tell you how good it feels to start this organization process and although when we think of organizing and purging our entire homes or spaces it gets overwhelming but i promise if you just take one space at a time one drawer at a time you will begin to feel so free and liberated with getting your home in tip-top shape and so after get everything removed i'm going to go ahead and clean it up and prepare to organize this space as functionally and as beautifully as i possibly can i have here the original little rag but guys i cut out these cute little images because somehow my family doesn't know what to put where, so this will make it crystal clear. So I'm putting knives, forks, spoon, images in each of the compartments so that they know exactly where everything is to be placed. Again, I need my home to function freely and easily. I don't want a lot of clutter. I don't want a lot of chaos when I pull this drawer out. I just want to pull it out and everything be properly placed where it should be. I opted to leave the other two compartments blank because those items may rotate or differ from season to season. So here, the knives, forks, and spoons will always be where the knives, forks, and spoons are supposed to be. So I am loving that, you guys. I use my transfer tape, transfer them over, and voila. So as you see here, I'm going to go ahead and start placing everything in its proper position and get it all together. As with organizing, you want to play around with it, see what works in your space. You may have to adjust some things, but it's okay. Take your time and get your home to function in the way that works for you. There is no cookie cutter 
routine to organization. Each home is different. So you do what works best for your space. You'll see me here play around with different positionings, but in the end, I get it positioned to the best of my abilities. Moving on to the next one, you guys. This is a small space, but it has to serve dual function. So I picked up some more organization containers and dividers to help me get this drawer to function as I needed to. Again, it's custom to your home. And here this space will serve as my tea, coffee area, plus my storage bags and so forth. So same thing, take everything out, remove, re um, throw away anything that you need to discard. This is the time and the place to do so. Same process, guys. Clean it out. And I'm going to use some paper towels as my liners. You don't have to go out and spend a lot of money if it's not necessary. I just want to keep its space clean from debris. And so here, guys, these dividers are absolutely amazing. I got the adjustable ones from Walmart. It comes as a set of two. And I got the aluminum foil dividers from Amazon. But here it allows you to customize to fit whatever space you're housing them in. And so we're going to get everything properly positioned. And I created the perfect spacing for my keg cups as well as my tea bags. And the more I organize, the better I'm feeling. I feel like my home is being set in order. And that is the goal for this year. It's all about organization. It's all about peace and tranquility and clutter free. That is my goal. If it doesn't have a use for me in my home, I have no use for it in my home. So I have to train my mind to get rid of things that don't belong. Oftentimes we hold on to things thinking that we can use it for later, but later never comes. So as you can see, I am very excited as I am organizing, getting everything put in its proper place. It just gives me so much joy and so much peace. Now guys, at this place, you could add custom labels for each of those compartments as well but because we are in the home buying process i want to just make it a temporary setup so i'm opting not to do any custom labeling in this drawer but just compartmentalizing everything so that it functions better for us in the end and this space you guys is complete moving on to drawer number three guys i know it is a hot mess but if you are a royal family member then you know that if you cut me i will bleed tiffany blue i absolutely love this color it is my signature color and i have become a little excessive with the collection of these kitchen utensils so a major purge will take place in this space as well just because you love it doesn't mean that you need to keep it guys and so this is a life lesson to self but same process we are removing everything out we're going to clean it up and then we're going to get it properly placed so remove clean purge in the process and repeat again guys the more i organize the better i'm feeling about this space now that i have it clean guys i have this adjustable drawer organizer and it works perfectly in this drawer because this drawer is a little bit smaller than the others this adjustable divider was perfect here i could have also labeled but again we need a temporary solution so i didn't want to put anything permanently there because this organizer may have a new home when we have a new home but after a little finagling and finessing i figured out the proper format or proper placement for all of the utensils again some of them were purged and some of them were repositioned in other areas but at the end i come up with the proper placement for everything to function freely in our space Moving on now to the 
final drawer you guys is what we call the junk drawer and it is properly named this drawer accumulates so much i don't know i don't know why do we have junk drawers <laughs> somebody help me with that anywho i'm gonna go ahead and get this one as organized as possible as well as you can see it is a accumulation of medicines of drills of nails of just all of the things so i'm going to position everything where it should be or give everything a proper home if it's something that's medicine it needs to go where the other medicines or first aid items are stored if it is something dealing with screws and hammers and nails and all those things it will remain here my main goal here was to just rid stuff that wasn't necessary over time it has just developed into a hodgepodge of everything and i want to do the same that i did in the other three drawers and this one as well although we call it a junk drawer i want it to be as organized as possible everything is out let's get it all cleaned up and let the organization begin here guys i picked up a four piece five piece actually um organizer kit and i absolutely love these as you see i did keep everything cohesive and going with the nice wood pieces because regardless of whether we're here or in the new home this will still function and be cohesive in those spaces as well and this one was from walmart it gives you the ability to adjust it and customize it for your particular taste. And as you can see, it is complete and I'm a happy camper. The final area we will attack in this organization video, guys, is my spice area. This area is housing my, as you can see, I've attempted to organize, but all of the different size containers is just it's a mess so this is where i house food as well as my spices i do have a spice area but it's preserved for my dish collection mind your business so now i'm going to go ahead and just get them all positioned to see how i want them set up in this space i did off camera you guys go ahead and put all of my spices in these clear jars that i picked up from amazon i absolutely love them i got two different sizes they do have the round labels on the top but i wanted to go ahead and just level the look up a bit once I finish I decide on the definite positioning and look at what I end up with in the end everything is organized cans bottles and feast your eyes on this you guys I absolutely love the positioning however I wanted to take it up a notch and add the custom labeling and so here it's just clean it's crisp it's free of clutter all of the jars are in a seamless cohesive pattern i love it guys there's no more fighting the jars to find what you need everything is labeled here everything is positioned to where we can easily get to and i am so excited about it now the final space in my area guys my little faith over fear sign i haven't changed it yet but i will i just want to show you guys for the sake of the video how it turned out in my coffee space and i have it styled here for the winter everything is so clean and organized i felt like doing a little styling so here you're getting a sneak peek of what my winter styling will look like i absolutely love it you guys i feel so good i feel so accomplished although to you it may seem like a minor issue but i accomplished a lot with those drawers everything is beautifully placed now i have a nice aesthetically pleasing and effectively functioning kitchen so if you see what you like and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and join the royal family i want to thank cricket again for sponsoring today's video to my tried and choosing my brand new booze you guys know that i love and appreciate you until the next organization video, guys, I want you all to stay safe, remain royal, and have yourself a blessed and most beautiful, beautiful day. Bye.